Way outside to Wayne Ellington. The long gun goes for Wayne. Plumley hands. Look at Wayne Ellington. Ellington. Great long gun for Wayne Ellington for Wayne. Folks, here's a guy who sometimes plays and some. Immediately his head up trying to push it. The lob to Hachimura. Grant came over. It's going to be a turnover. Here comes Saban Lee. Ellington for three again. This time it's good. Beyond the timeline to get it back. He was touched by Paul George. Not over and back. Ellington with a drive. Inside for Plumley And Mason's able to score. That boy was Darvin Ham, that's for sure. And you know, George, the more I look at that picture, every time I see that picture. A disastrous season, if you ask me, for the Pistons. And this is the reason why Blake Griffin and De uh, Derrick Rose, they had to get out of here. So what pace do you think favors the Pistons? Do you like it when they get up in transition? Or they've obviously scored it well uh, shooting in the half court. I like it when they mix it up. I mean, you're never going to get... Oh. Count it and mix it up. Yeah, because you're never going to get a steady diet of anything over a 48-minute game. Sure, sure. But being buried and being able to up-tempo it when it's there, trust in your half court when, it, when you have to set up. And tonight he's scoring everything. Morris tried to get to the basket. Josh blocked the shot. Ellington on the other end reins it in from look, behind the long line. Look at this to take a timeout. Pistons are four for four from Triple Land. Jeremy taps it to Wayne Ellington, almost stepped over the line. They go to the sideline and send it and score it. Did he know that there was very little time? Look how high he gets up on this shot too. You know, a lot of guys are good from the three-point line as spot-up shooters, standstill shooters. Blake Griffin pitches it inside to Jeremy Grant, two-timed. On the wing to Wayne Ellington. Got ready to shoot it and knocked it down. Wayne Ellington makes it. The Pistons 109, Miami 89.